Terratex, usually in a stretch woven version, I think, with 94% nylon and 6% elastane, and then now FC0, so no fluorocarbon, treated DWR, has been a mainstay of Arcturix and especially Arcturix Valens. They came out with a few pieces there, and most interestingly, recently, they went from the Spear LT hoodie to the Spear LT jacket, and then on to a sort of Spear LT suit with a blazer and pants. And it's been a very interesting thing to try out. You might know, if you have ever seen any of my Valence videos, that I am a big fan of their blazers and of their suit-like solutions. Last season, one season earlier, they came out for spring-summer with the Hedden LT, their heathered wool version of products in a LT, in a light form, and also as a sort of suiting, even including a shirt. With Spear LT there's no dedicated shirt, well it wouldn't make sense to have a Teratex shirt. But there are a few pieces, I even could not resist a sand dust I think that color was, white-ish jacket. And it's actually been quite nice, same as the Spear LT hoodie before. Those pieces are very strange, I still have some issues with Arcturic saying that those are wind and water repellent. Because yes, they are, especially as long as you have the DWR treatment on them, but they are summer pieces. Their main reason, raison d'etre, reason to exist, in my opinion, is that they are very light pieces, so that they are really good for summer wear. If you got into a bit of a drizzle, yes, they would still be okay, but in a summer rain, mm, no, you would want something else, something very light maybe, like the Deploy LT, but uh, in that case it would be Gore-Tex. It is wetting through very quickly if you really get into rain, but of course, even if this is performance menswear made for urban outdoors conditions, for bringing some of the outdoors experience into products for the office, basically, for just being out and about in the city in urban environments, this is still yeah something where you need to know what you will use for what. And of course, something suit-like is not going to be for weather protection. I'm not going to go running in the mountains and that sort of thing. Although I might travel somewhere in the SPLT pants, for example, because they are very lightweight, very comfortable in summer. They are slightly warmer in feel than the Hedden LT wool pants, but on those you can feel the tape, for example, as cold spots, which on the Spear LT pants you don't have. Maybe let's start at the bottom with those. I'm not sure what happens here, that sometimes, if you have seen photos of me wearing this as a suit, even with a nice real shirt, well, that was actually the meter short sleeve shirt, with a Gucci tie with the coral snake on it. That was perfect for going to the Natural History Museum to a press conference and meeting their main herpetologist, who of course noticed the snake. But I digress. It's On those photos there it looked like it's hmm, tight in the cuffs at the bottom. It actually isn't. It is quite loose, but somehow the pants have a tendency to look like they are sticking to me. But the stretch woven Teratex is very nice. You have two pretty standard pockets. You have two very standard just drop-in pockets in the back. Maybe the main point here is that you have one of the Cobra buckles. You have a zipper. And you don't even have loops for a belt. Very strangely, really, for something suit-like, blazer-like. But you have a band in there which you can tighten a bit with a knot on both sides. That way you have it size adjusted to be as tight as you want it to be, as you need it to be. And otherwise it's a lot like some track pants, but it doesn't look quite that shabby. And in that regard I do like this a lot. The blazer is even nicer in my opinion. I do still have one Blazer LT, also a Teratex piece, one that has been a mainstay of 
the Valens line and a nice one again because it is a blazer you can wear in the summer when it's hot which is not exactly the usual thing otherwise but the blazer LT has a lower lapel and then two Cobra slide buck mm, buckles here you have the slide in the pants but for the blazer you have snap buttons and you don't just have two, you have three, so that the lapel closes higher. This whole blazer has a bit more of a boxy look, not such a long one, also with the lapels being higher up. And I really like that. It's um, long, slender, tall anyways, but I don't need the blazer or a blazer to emphasize that. I'm not very blocky. But even so, I like it. It combines with the pants to a very nice length, to a very nice combination. You have the two pockets there. They are kind of low as usual, so don't put anything in there that you have to trust not to fall out. But they are more like hand warmer pockets anyways. And you do have the blazer typical Airplane ticket pocket and wallet pocket, maybe passport pocket on the left side, right side, nice zippers. You do have the loop, the hang tag in the back with the Valence logo, which many people have hated so much. I'm actually quite amused by this being called vanity branding. It almost made me want to get a System A shirt with the big, big, big dead bird in the back. Just to rile people up a bit. Because I didn't mind those, but they seem to be disappearing again anyways. And I did find it nice how they showed how much people care about Valence being supposed to be. Not very recognizable, except for anyone who knows it, who will recognize it by its inconspicuousness. And that's of course the thing that this is about. So, yeah, I have started sweating underneath here a bit now. It is quite hot in this room, it's a hot summer. So this would get sweaty, but it would be comfortable as much as anything like this can be comfortable in the heat. And a cool look and a bit of protection. That combination is a truly nice one. I have enjoyed that. It's things, once again, that you can move around in. Of course, a blazer does that a bit strangely, but the Teratex, those light blazers less than any others. You can wear it for looking good, looking stylish, but at the same time not being in fancy Gucci or Zenya or whatever, but something that protects very nicely without compromising on breathability and on comfort. And yeah, I'm repeating myself, but one last time, I just like stuff like that, that is performance menswear. And it's a style I like, and so I'm sticking to, yeah, getting too many Valence pieces, but mainly getting those whenever there's something new that makes sense for me, for my uses, forgetting about pieces that don't make sense for me, and especially forgetting about most other things, because I don't like them as much anyways, and I just stick to my style. That's, I think, what a man should be doing and should be able to do. Just, yeah, have what fits, without it being, I don't know, the same shirt and jeans as everybody because ooh I'm so cool I'm a tech pro. No I don't want to be a tech pro but a bit gentlemanly with that outdoors influenced technical touch to it.